Well, hello. Just look at that. We are in business. And, uh, you know, nothing else but a nice start. All locked up. Nice. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. There's even a little bit of copper. They might be using this as a garbage bin. No idea what that is. Mostly plastic. I was hoping that was going to be a perfect fit. <sighs> this thing I'm not too fussed about. Could be copper though. I think that'll just... Duh! Done. That is a copper line. Put that there. Along with our other copper lines. Yoo-hoo! Kind of a shame this is so difficult. Wonder what forced them to do that. Oh well. Ooh! You know, I want to leave it better than I found it, but that makes it a challenge. Ah, well, I did my best. Oh, it's got a liner. Looks good to me. In you go. What about those? Yes. Whoop. Making a mess. It's all right. I'm sure these could be used for furniture, but we're using them as scrap. Now what about those? Eh. They're a bit beat up and ugly. You know, no offense, so am I. Is the rest of that just, uh... Wow, they put the extra effort in. <laughs> Thanks guys, cheers. But here we have a good one. Knock, knock. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What are those? That looks like it was a nice table. And, uh, that barbecue is probably pretty decent, but it's also very buried. Huh. Stainless steel sink. faucets and everything are already off that sink. Now what have we here? Which one's garbage, which one's recycling? I don't really... Uh, they're... they're both garbage. This one's a smelly boy. 
definitely recycling. Dumpster diving, huh? It has been a minute. And I miss it. I do. It's fun to get out there and explore, see what you can see, see what you can find. I thought I saw something I could find just behind it. Well, all right. What are you? Oh, it's a water softener. It's cool, but it doesn't have a lot of scrap metal. Now that one's loaded. There's actually a spot I saw when I picked up that giant tub uh, with a bunch of chunky pieces of steel rusting into the dirt. The, the, I, I don't think anybody wants them. Um, they're, they're definitely... So we're gonna go grab those. There's not that many. Uh, but it'll take us to a new area that I think might be worth exploring. So that's what we're doing. Dumpster diving after a little bit of recovery. Ah, there we are. Honestly, the amount of nice-ish cars and SUVs I see rolling out of this spot kind of strikes me as the perfect place for a clandestine meetup. Anyway, I don't know what these are other than rusty and neglected, but they'd go in as prepared. And I don't think they're gonna be missed. Hmm. This one's already got a cut on it, which is convenient. Ah, there you go. Perfect. I'm worried about how I was going to get that in. Looks like we're going to get a good rain, which I got to say, I'm... Um, kind of excited about. It's pretty rare around here. So when we get a good one, I get kind of stoked. Oh, I know what these are. These are uh, ratchet things. Yeah. Big truck scrap, strap clamps. That's what they are, yeah. The rain might make it a little more challenging to do the dumpster diving, but uh, it's not gonna stop us. I woke up and decided we needed to go on an adventure, see something other than the same four walls, you know? And I appreciate your patience. In that matter, I pretty much finished all the, um, all the, yeah, the scrap guide type videos that I wanted to take care of, at least for now. You know, maybe I'll think of some more. But uh, that's pretty much all the ones I had in mind. And I've got a new toy, which I'm really excited to try out. Well, okay, I've been trying it out, but um, it's gonna take a little bit more practice. And I wasn't sure I'd have enough time to get a video out this week if I prioritize that, you know. So here we are. Ah. Picking up old, neglected, rusty steel. As it sits, probably not worth very much. Steel or aluminum? Oh, decent, that's a chunk of aluminum. Wow, that wind is really picking up, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, left that better than we found it, didn't we? All right, let's see if we can find any more, any more treasures. I, not here, I mean like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Devil sticks, cool. 
I, I don't think these are metal. No. Those are plastic. Oh, we got a little bit of metal. Um, and some decent looking wires as well. Should get by just fine with these. Hello? Sir? Oh. Huh. Out you go. That was unintentional, but uh, kind of worked out, didn't it? Clip. Clop. Probably wasn't worth it, worth it, but whatever. But a number one wire to add to the stash. Cool. Let's go. Neat. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess... <laughs> somebody cut the... Uh... Somebody knows what to do with copper. Is this a recovery bin? Yeah, wow. Whoa, this one was serious. <laughs> Must have been some good stuff coming out of there. Nice piece of uh, cast aluminum. This looks great, but it also looks too good to be true. You know? Green Slade Disposal. Yeah, I don't know about that. It looks really good, but it does look really good, but I don't know. I don't know. This one, on the other hand, this one looks like it's just waiting for us. I bet you it's heavy. These things usually have a weight in the bottom. Woo. Yep. That's a good one. What else we got? Let's see if we can get it in there. things a bit. Not really reducing the weight at all, just reducing the mess. Now, if we could lay it down on its side. No, that's...
in you go. <sighs> oh, so close. I'm a bit concerned about the top door opening. So let's see if we can uh, release that. Pull it out of there so we don't have to worry so much. Not that I think y'all are worried. And now, it should be. Honestly, good enough. She's good. Check the others. Mm. Yeah, I guess that counts, but not for much. That looks cool. Water softener, I'm sure. Look at the size of that engine, huh? All of them. Wow, what are those for? Uh, these are all locked up. I think. It's got a bit of metal. Oh, they're paint stands. And nothing. Could take the uh, the paint can or the the thinner cans too, but those are helium steel, you know. You know what I mean? I almost feel like I should keep these actually. Yeah, the feet are good. They seem perfectly functional to me, so maybe uh, maybe we'll put those up for sale. I saw a little treasure here, and I thought, you know what, it looks like they're saving them, but uh, I came back around, uh, let's back up like we know what we're doing here, uh, and asked him, well, asked anybody who I could find, and I eventually talked to the boss, and he said, go for it, get him out of here. And that was these right here. And I gotta tell you, I was pretty jazzed about the whole exchange. Cause look at them. They're busted up and made out of aluminium. If I can just get these apart, easy peasy. Then my life would just be lemon squeezy. <sighs> like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll make them fit. A little bit dirty, don't much care. Wrap that around. Riggedy there. Oh, whoa, that, that's the big part. How does that work? Um. Okay. How? 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. The question is how. So if this came off, because if I just like uh, send it, oh, that's even glued on. Yeah, if I just straight up send it, <clears throat> it's gonna be oversized. And I don't want oversized. Oh, beauty. Absolutely beautiful. <sighs> I can tell you why. Wait, how does that... How's that go down? Bah, what do I care? I don't need it to go down. Those are questions for someone who doesn't have uh, stake sides installed on their truck. Now this one... Is that... Oh, nice. It's only finger tight. Release! Another beautiful, heavy chunk of extrusion. In you go. That's not going anywhere. Dang. Now, uh, this part. This part is the mystery. There you go. Beautiful chunks. That's gonna be fun. Nobody seems to like these, but I like these. I like these a lot. No, they're not the right tool. So I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest them if you're trying to like put something back together. But I find that for me, it feels like they come in ah, pretty clutch sometimes. I don't know how the time saved compares to uh, the frequency. You're probably going to go back to the store and buy another one because they are not built to last, but... They're making my life easier today. Okay. How about now? Did I pass? Okay. Got it. <clears throat> Bits of steel. Two more legs. <clears throat> Looks like they do get shorter, but you know. Which is totally fine. And then this new friend, which we're gonna have to take home because it's got that nice motor. 
that nice cable. This one demands some extra attention. And that also that kind of took the rest of our spare time. And if we want to get to the scrapyard today and unload all of this stuff today, then we better get moving. I don't want this going anywhere. That looks a little better. Beauty. Beauty! Ah, blessings, salutations, and thank you. It's not like a giant load, but yeah, whatever. try got pretty close I like it now I uh, made the decision to come here first rather than uh, try to find a little more junk Ooh. simply because I was hoping maybe we'd have enough time to sit out back and pick some of the uh, some of the steel off of this here aluminium. See if we can increase the grade a little bit. At this point, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Which is totally fine. Hmm, hmm. Yes. I see now the circumstances of one's birth is irrelevant. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Look at him go. Could seriously just watch those all day. This one's gonna be kinda noisy and dangerous. Oh, stop. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cute. <laughs> All right. Stop messing around, Drake. Let's go. If the folks didn't know any better, they'd think you liked standing around in the rain. Neat. Oh, but don't you know, that's my secret. I do like standing around in the rain. Uh, aluminum. Aluminum. This piece. Uh, 
This one is stainless, but I don't really care. Okay, let's go. So, these, uh, we can always scrap them later if they don't sell. What? Huh. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, no, it's a, it's a minor environmental disaster, but the colors are pretty. Also, I'm in the way. I totally shouldn't be parked like this. I'm kind of just hoping they'll let me get away with it because I'm only going to be 15 seconds. And you. Out you go. Huh. Yep. Bah. Bye. Now for the good part. But first, look at these. Just look at those. Are they lead? I don't think so, they're too shiny. Aluminum, stainless steel. Oh, there's an easy way to check, but uh, it's not really our job, so. Forget about it. Wow, what a gorgeous day. Let's see how much we made on our one day dumpster diving scrap metal recycling challenge. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. See where we ended up. All right, that should do. And I promise I'm not just trying to be funny. I understand how people on coastal regions or islands like Vancouver or uh, Great Britain are. Um, Probably not as fond of the rain because it's more common, but for us, it's not very common. Just got a few bits and pieces to add to the pile, but uh, some nice bits of copper there. And then this thing, I need to find a way. Yeah, I can't really go too long without going out on a treasure hunt. It's too much fun. I enjoy it. The novelty... Well... Well, I guess that's the thing. I like it when it is a novelty. I don't think it would be as much fun just doing it constantly. And I appreciate that many of you seem to understand my, uh, my interest in doing things a little differently all the time. If for no other reason than to keep myself entertained. Aluminum. Last week's was a fun experiment, but I don't think it was a huge success. So I think in the future, um, I'll do more like that, but less like that. If you know what I mean. It does seem worthwhile to share the uh, In the Garage Scrapathons. Um, but in hindsight, uh, judicious use of uh, fast motion and uh, time lapse footage is definitely an improvement. Jeez, this is really fiddly for a couple grams of aluminum. Yeah, okay. That's a copper motor. That one also looks like a copper motor. So yeah, maybe we will crack those, crack into those. But as far as the yield... Um, we ended up with... So between the prepared steel and the tin, we got about 57 bucks, uh, which is, you know, not bad, considering we, we didn't really have that much of it. And the aluminum, they actually bought as uh, a few different grades, because, no, I didn't spend the time taking all of the screws out, and, and maybe I should have, but the difference 
75 cents a pound versus 90 cents a pound. Um, yeah, no, it would have been worth doing, but I really wanted to see how far we could get in one day. And uh, bringing it home and fiddling with it didn't really fit in. Plus, we got more stuff to pick up tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll show you. But the aluminum altogether, we got about 65 bucks, which really was just that one stop. So there's a point in favor of running around in the daytime. We had the opportunity to ask if uh, that needed to be deleted or if he wanted to keep it because you know, without asking, we couldn't have taken it. It was like, I mean, you saw, you were there. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty easy 65 bucks to throw on top. I'm not really mad about losing, you know, 15 cents a pound on the, uh, it was a gorgeous day, and we came home with 130 bucks that we didn't have in the first place. Minus gas, obviously. It's not cheap. Not too bad. And it was fun exploring, going on adventures. And it's always more fun exploring with you there. So thanks for joining and keeping me company. Look forward to the next one. I'll see you there. Leave it better than you found it, and keep doing the thing.